A Geological Disposal Facility, or GDF, is the safest permanent way to dispose of our most hazardous radioactive waste. Around the country, people have formed community partnerships with NWS to consider whether a GDF could be right for their area, and search areas have been identified for NWS to investigate to see if their area has the right characteristics for a GDF. It's our job to design a GDF that our scientists and engineers, the government and the regulators, all agree would work with all those characteristics to safely isolate and contain radioactive waste. The process starts with site evaluation, where we gather a whole range of environmental data to see if the area could be suitable for a GDF. We'll keep the community partnership updated on our progress and our communities engaged and informed through regular communication and activities. One result of this evaluation is an environmental statement, which reports on the impact of the site characterization works on the environment and is essential to getting the permission for the next part of the process. Getting all the right permissions could take two to three years and includes at least two stages of public consultation for development consent order. Meanwhile, the Environment Agency will also consult on the environmental permit and give people a say. Once we have all the necessary permissions, we can move to the next part of the process, site characterization. The permissions give us the go-ahead to drill deep boreholes so we can extract core samples of rock from deep underground. Analysing these samples will give us the most detailed picture we've ever had of the different layers of geology in these areas. This gets added to the site evaluation data to build a much better picture of whether we could safely build a GDF in each area. While all our investigations are happening, we'll also continue to work with the community partnerships to help the communities make informed decisions about whether they're willing to host a GDF. Once we have information from both the site evaluation and the site characterization, we can work out whether we could design a GDF that could be safely built, run and closed in that area. Each possible area will need a unique design that accounts for its unique geology, infrastructure like transport links and other features of the environment. As design options are progressed, we'll also be preparing for permissions for a GDF and consulting on how a GDF would look at that location. If we find that we can't design a GDF that would account for those features and protect people and the environment properly, we'll bring the whole process to an end in that area. In 2023, we withdrew from Allerdale, one of the first areas to engage in the GDF siting process, because the geology wasn't right, so a GDF built there couldn't be as safe and secure as it needs to be. Once we have a site with the right characteristics, a design that will protect people and the environment, and public approval from a local community, NWS will take its decision to the UK government. The government will then give NWS the go-ahead to take the next step, applying for planning and regulatory consents for building and operating a GDF at our preferred site. It's a gradual process to get to this point. Then building and finally closing the facility will take another 150 years or more.